milk or water? Milk. Pancakes or cereal? Cereal. Yogurt or fruit? Yogurt? Nice! I've been getting all of these questions right. Pizza or sandwich? Hmm. Jess, are you controlling your soulmate or is your soulmate controlling you today? What do you mean? Today's the day you can control what your soulmate eats or they control you. And whatever you didn't get today, you get tomorrow. Oh, so that's what this is. I thought this was a food test. A food test? Yeah, like one of those BuzzFeed quizzes that reveals what your favorite food is. Why would you think that? I don't know. Okay. Ice cream or sorbet? Ooh, ooh. Danny, are you okay? I haven't seen you all day. No, I think my soulmate is trying to kill me. What? Everything they've made me eat today has had dairy in it. I'm lactose intolerant. I haven't been able to leave the bathroom. I'm not joking when I say the first thing they made me drink this morning was milk. What kind of monster drinks milk when they first wake up? Oh, my stomach. Danny, you do not look good. Maybe you should call your mom. Hey, Danny, I'm really sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. Except I think it is. I've been giving my soulmate a lot of dairy, but I didn't know it was you. It was you? I am so getting back at you tomorrow. So our soulmates control us tomorrow? Yep, the roles get reversed. Well, good thing I'm not allergic to anything. He can't get me back that bad, right? Your soulmate is making you drink water. I knew Danny was a nice person. Your soulmate is making you eat cereal. Another normal option. Thank you. Your soulmate is making you eat moldy food. Daddy? Danny, I didn't make you eat moldy food, you nasty. That's gonna make me sick. Sicker than a lactose intolerant person eating dairy for 24 hours straight? Probably. Probably not. Enjoy your moldy berries, Jess. Ugh, you are the worst soulmate ever. You have 30 seconds to eat moldy berries. Do you know what happens if we don't eat the food our soulmate chose for us? You will automatically lose that person as a soulmate and they won't let you get another soulmate in the future. So you die alone. Then I guess I'm eating some moldy berries. Ew, is Jess eating moldy berries? Yes, I just saw her eat some. What a weird- I didn't have a choice. I'm so glad I'm no longer the weird kid. I do not feel good. Your soulmate is making you eat sardines. <gasps> Jess, I haven't seen you all day. Ew, you have something on your face. And why do you smell like a dumpster? I don't want to talk about it. But next time I control Danny, it's milkshakes for days. Your turn to choose what your soulmate eats. Time to do that sweet thing called revenge. Toast or fruit? Neither of those have dairy in it. Give me new options. Generating new options. Still no dairy. New options. Ugh, finally. Parfait. Have you seen Danny? No, I haven't. He's probably having some major stomach aches. Don't tell me you're feeding him dairy again. Don't give me that. After what he put me through yesterday, he deserves it. Milkshake or smoothie? Hmm. Jess, I found out where Danny is. Where is he? In the hospital. What? Apparently, he's so sick from eating all the dairy, the doctors are recommending he refuses to eat his soulmate's options. That means he'd forfeit having a soulmate. He'd be forever alone. Oh my gosh. I have to go see him. Danny is in a lot of pain. He doesn't want visitors. But I'm his soulmate. So you're the one that's been making him ill. Security! I... Come with us, ma'am. And don't Wait. let her come back. <laughs> Bananas. I hope Danny starts feeling better soon. Your soulmate has not chosen anything for you to eat yet. That's weird. He must still be in the hospital. Next. I'm here to see Danny Davis. All right, let's see here. You were here yesterday, weren't you? No. Yes, you were. I remember you. You're his soulmate. Please, I just want to know if he's okay. Security. Not again. Jess? Danny! What are you doing here? I am so sorry. You better be. This has been the worst 24 hours of my life. I know. I didn't mean for you to end up in the hospital. You do seem really sorry. I guess it's time I tell you that this was all a prank. 
What? My dad works here at the hospital. So I got some of the staff and your best friend in on it. We wanted you to think that I was really sick. I mean, I was, but not hospitalization sick. That was a horrible prank. You were really worried about me, weren't you? Yeah. How about we call it a truce? No more lactose or moldy food. Now wanna go grab something to eat? Like some ice cream or something? Ha ha, very funny. How about some shaved ice? Cellmate says to eat. Shaved ice. Sounds great. Mom, did I get my time left yet? Not yet, sweetie. It's still loading. Well, tell me the second you see it appear, okay? Of course. Have a good day. Billy Jean, you got your time left? I did? It must have just appeared. How much time do I have left? 52 years. 52 years. That means I'll die at 69. Hey, that's my lucky number. Mine hasn't came in yet, right? Not yet. Still loading. You know that feeling you get in class when you know you're about to be called on and then five seconds later you're called on? Deja vu? Exactly. Well, I have a feeling I'm going to get hundreds of years. <gasps> Billy Jean, did it come in or not? Am I gonna live forever? Yeah, it came in. And? And you're gonna live forever. Yes, I totally called it. I gotta go. Billie Jean, wait. Does it say I'm going to live forever as in infinite years? Infinite years in heaven. What? I mean, infinite years is in 111. Really? That means I'll live till I'm 129. Uh-huh. I knew I would live a long time. Jess, don't worry about turning in the homework today. In fact, you don't have to be in class if you don't want to. You can go home. That's really nice, Mr. G, but I want to be here. Wow, that means a lot. I'll never forget you, okay, Jess? Of course I didn't do the homework. Becky, you only have 20 years left? I am so sorry. Don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for yourself. Ha ha. I know you're just being mean to me to cope, but it's not going to make you feel any better. I'm not being mean, dude. I'm going to be here tomorrow. You're not. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Threatening you? Girl, what? Did like no one tell you how much time you have left? Did no one tell you? Yeah, they did. Billie Jean told me I have 111 years left. Girl, you have 21 hours left. Wait, what? 21 hours? That can't be right. No offense, Becky, but I believe Billie Jean over you. Well, believe me, Becky's telling the truth. Told you. Mr. G, how much time do I have left? I'm sorry, Jess. I thought you knew. You only have 21 hours left. <gasps> Jess, what are you doing home early? I got my time left, so they let me come home early. <gasps> oh, sweetie, I am so sorry. I thought I was going to live forever. I know. Come here. Well, no sense in crying about it. You have 18 hours left. What do you want to do? Should we go to the mall? We could get you some new clothes. That'll never get to wear. Right. Well, I'll just return them tomorrow. Come on. Thanks, Mom. You really made the last 18 hours the best 18 hours. Don't forget me in the afterlife, okay? Don't forget me in the earth life. I would never. Goodbye. Goodbye. Holy guacamole. The afterlife looks just like my bedroom. Sweetie. Mom, what are you doing here? You died too? No, I didn't, and neither did you. Wait, what? You have infinite years. You're going to live forever.